Hi and welcome to my channel. This is Virgo's reading for the month of July 2021. It is a general tarot reading, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is timeless. It is not gender specific, so male can sometimes be female, female can sometimes be male. And of course it is very general. So let's jump right into it. I am going to be shuffling the cards and then I'm going to be pulling nine cards and we'll see which one is at the bottom of the deck. So I must say I got quite a few dislikes from you guys for my June reading. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I tried to throw a few jokes in here and there by saying that you guys mustn't be too harsh because I know Virgos are very specific and very detail oriented and um, very... I want to say like ordered so I don't know I'm not quite sure why you didn't like the reading or if it didn't resonate with a lot of you but let's hope that this month's reading will resonate so Virgo for the month of July we have the Hierophant reversed Knight of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups. Really interesting. That's good energy, Virgo. That's great. Speaking of true love, a soulmate connection here. Let's see more for Virgo for July. Five of Pentacles reversed. Also not too bad. Six of Pentacles. That's really, really good, actually. Queen of Cups reversed. Ten of Cups. Wow. Really, really positive. Knight of Wands, and the last card is going to be the Hermit. There is your card right there. All right, Virgo, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands reversed, okay? So normally when it's in the upright, it speaks about battles, but not serious battles, more like a mock fight, okay? So small bickering small arguments, unnecessary arguments, petty arguments, childishness, things like that. But it could also be speaking about people coming together, a lot of people being involved in one big project or in one big situation. So that is the overall theme for this reading for July. So you have the Hierophant in reverse, which is a Taurus card. So it could also speak about tradition. It could be saying that you guys are moving away from traditional ideas and what society views as traditional because perhaps you wanting to go in a different direction work-wise or um, in terms of love, you're kind of following your own heart, not worried about what society thinks about you anymore. Knight of Pentacles is a slow moving energy normally, but it's in reverse. So I'm feeling like you guys are a little bit impatient in terms of something, perhaps a love connection that's coming your way. Something's moving too slow to your liking because you have the Two of Cups, which is the true love soulmate card. So I don't know if you've been waiting patiently for this love connection to manifest and it's just been happening too slowly. Well, it looks like there is definitely some happiness entering into your life, but let's carry on with the reading. I just want to say that that love connection, it is coming. It will come because of that Ten of Cups, but we'll get to that. With the Five of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you guys were perhaps in a very bad, I don't want to say very bad, but in a bad financial position. But you're moving out of that energy, which is great. 
because now you're finally able to help other people. And this may not resonate with all of you, but for those of you who do resonate with this, please just comment down below and let me know because this Six of Pentacles literally shows you helping other people who are in need. It doesn't need to mean financially. It could also just mean that you're giving a lot of yourself to other people. You're giving your time, your energy to other people. You have Queen of Cups in reverse, which speaks about a water sign individual. So you may have been dealing with uh, Cancer's Pisces or Scorpio. Did I just do the same thing that I did in the Taurus reading? No ways! I am mixing words together like it's going out of fashion. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio individual. What is wrong with me? I blame the retrograde, although I can't because it's already passed. But please forgive me. <laughs> Those words, that was a mistake. Alright, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be a female doesn't necessarily have to be this person may have rejected you or you may have found out that they are not the one for you because it's in the reverse there is happiness coming your way though something to do with an action that needs to be taken so this could be a message coming in but it requires you to make a decision to take action and it's related to your happiness, that thing that brings you joy, that idea that you have about the perfect life. It's linked to a decision that needs to be made regarding an action that needs to be taken. So someone will come in with a message or an offering and you will then need to make a decision and take action. And that is where your happiness lies because this is you, the hermit, right? It also speaks about doing a lot of shadow work, doing internal work, doing the inner healing, looking at yourself, healing yourself first, before you can go into this perfect soulmate connection, right? It sounds cliche, but love yourself first. Doesn't mean if you don't love yourself that you're not worthy of love. That's not what it's saying. It's just saying, be happy and be content being on your own first because if you're not happy with yourself then how can you expect other people to be happy with you right if you look down on yourself constantly and you don't see the good parts of your personality and your looks and the good aspects um, related to you then how can you expect other people to see it it's just a reminder to be in your power and to actually just take control of your life all right, it is a very general reading, Virgo. Um, I hope it resonated with a few of you. I'm just still trying to see because we have a few minutes left. Um, I just want to see how this Five of Wands ties in with the whole reading. So it's telling me that you need to look at the bigger picture. All right, if there are too many distractions around you and too much argument, too many arguments, too much arguing too much bickering going on around you then just shut that out because it's it's ultimately affecting you in a very negative way so don't focus on that and yes if you can together with other people create something whether it's in terms of work or whatever the case may be if you need other people then don't turn your back on them because because of pride or whatever the case may be. If you need other people to help you along your journey, then please accept that help. Don't shut yourself off from the world. You are a hermit, all right? Not literally, I hope. Um, we all have been hermits, basically. And a lot of us have been in isolation lately with the COVID thing. But it doesn't mean that you shouldn't accept help from other people. Please try. Try to make whatever seems like it's going to work, work. Okay, thanks very much for watching the reading and I hope you guys are all staying safe and well. That's all I have for you. Bye for now.